Hey guys, um, today I will be talking to you about Salesforce automation tools and the way how you can automate in Salesforce platform. Uh, today I will be just giving high level overview of all existing automation tools that are currently present in Salesforce. I'll talk briefly what they are consist of, uh, their pros, cons, and features as you can see um, there's a total five of those as you can see on this um, page and those are workflow process builder flow approval processes and apex code so um, I will not I will not go deep down to each tool and explain how they do it Maybe I'll record a video later on uh, with clear explanation of probably a specific example of each automation tool. But for now, I just want to give you a high-level overview. So let's talk about, um, here's a comparison of each um, tool, as I mentioned before, which is a process builder, flow builder, workflow, and approvals. And you can see... Um, like capabilities and uh, what they consist of and what they offer, right? So let me start with um, workflow, right? Workflow are basically, uh, you can find it, let's say launch a Salesforce Playground for now. I just want to show you where you can find those uh, workflow and let's go to the right section through the setup and look for workflow and so uh, workflow rules right here it's under process and automation so it's one of the easiest um, way how to automate your code and it's, it's the easiest way to go, and one of the first one, right? So, uh, things that it can provide to you about, so the pluses, it's very easy to use and hard to break uh, with its full functionality. But when it comes to the cons, uh, it's very outdated, right? And Salesforce itself now is trying to suggest uh, users to go to the flow. As you can see here, we tried to build uh, workflow rules. But then you have a warning message asking maybe you should use a flow builder, right? Flow is like the latest and greatest automation tool. And it's, that's why it's giving you a suggestion. But we can continue with the work, workflow rule and then create our uh, uh, workflow rule right here. So you have to specify the object. So, but as I mentioned, it's a high level overview, you guys, and what it consists of and uh, what automation tools we have in currently in place in Salesforce. As I can see, workflow are like the oldest one and, and the features are very limited comparing to Process Builder. Uh, Process Builder is a little bit newer tool, but now it's also being outdated. Uh, the cons of um, Process Builder that it's not supporting a large amount of records for the automation. Uh, comparing to maybe flow, right, or even workflow. Um, but flow, uh, Salesforce itself really tries to push hard on flow builder. So flow builder is the the latest uh, automation tool, and it's um, allows allows uh, users or uh, Salesforce users to start their flow and basically allows you to do some coding, but without actually doing coding, because uh, actually the latest uh, tool, and then it gives all the types of functionality, right? Among those functionalities uh, in Flow, we can count several as you can send email, you can have uh, uh, on record update, you can have, uh, you can launch a Flow from uh, page layout, 
there's a screen type of automation so basically I'm trying to say it's very uh, powerful and you can launch your flow through the platform event record trigger the flow record triggered flow is basically comes from uh, it's basically a uh, workflow so it basically it will launch every time there is some record creation or insertion or update screen flow it's more interaction of the users that will provide you with a screen scheduled is like i mean it's already telling for itself it's based on the timing um, you can specify the time when it will be launched uh, so auto launch flow which is no tr it's not trigger basically it launches on, on some sort of api rest api call or similar to platform right event but it will be launched on specific event that comes outside of salesforce so this is the but this is i will go deep down to this tool on my future videos right i don't want to talk about it here um, so and so as a in comparison if we go back to this this graph we can see that flow actually uh, provides all the capabilities comparing to other tools right so it has visual designer uh, it supports time-based action user interaction through the screen uh, you can do you can also call apex through flow and create records but comparing to uh, process builder you cannot invoke processes but at the same time you can delete records the workflow or process builder it cannot delete records mm. and then you can see also read other functionalities right so i know that salesforce in the future and their next releases probably do their best to push hard on flow we didn't talk much about approvals but approvals it's the way it's better to understand approvals when through the examples um, so if you have a process uh, you can actually it goes through the hierarchy so it has to be submitted and then approved by somebody to go further um, it will always stay and then a lot of businesses have those type of approval processes right so that's kind of high level overview oh yeah i forgot to mention apex but Apex provides you basically everything what you can do through workflow, process builder, flow, approval processes. But at the same time, it's very complex, right? You have to know um, Apex code, right? You have to know to have to code. But at the same time, you also have to know how to write, write test classes, which is um, one of the like it's harder but at the same time it's time consuming but at the same time you will need to write those test classes in order to uh, be able to file or push your code to the production work because salesforce requires you to have um, uh, 75 at least 70, 70 uh, at least 75% of coverage code coverage or test coverage in order to be able to push it from dev work to production work right so in order to write those automation you have to know apex so you can write triggers and do all the fun stuff that other approval uh, automation tool provides yeah guys as i mentioned this is just a high level overview i'll go deep down to each tool and discuss in details um, hopefully in my future videos i'm trying to record more like how to type of videos that i'm trying to keep short so thank you so much and let me know if you guys have any questions